Five Nights at Freddy's revolves around a simple pretense. Watch some security cameras. You were the new lackey hired by Freddy's restaurant to guard the animatronic animals. These creatures may entertain young children by day, but thanks to a technical glitch that means they can never be switched off, they spend their nights wandering the darkened halls. That wouldn't be so bad, but unfortunately the toys are morbidly curious about humanity's inability to be stuffed into a spare animatronic suit without crumpling into a bloody pulp. Despite being a security guard, you don't possess many useful skills for fending off the hulking stalkers that lurk in the shadows. You can't shoot them, punch them, or rip pipes from the walls to clobber them with. Your only means of defense are two buttons that control the metal doors which seal you inside your control room, a pair of flickering hallway lights, and a CCTV ecosystem. Unfortunately, all three are severely limited, thanks to your stingy boss's reluctance to pay for enough electricity to keep the lights on and safety doors down at all times. Your stalkers will either make a beeline straight towards your hidey hole, or toy around with you, blinking from camera to camera before closing in for the kill. You never see them move, only their bulging eyes shining in the darkness as they creep towards your hideout. Still, after playing through long enough, it's easy to learn each robot's pattern of behavior, which makes tracking them a lot easier and slightly dampens the tension. The audio is chilling. Everything is silent, except for the gentle hum of the fan, the rasping static of the CCTV, and the warning clank of an approaching creature. The camera's frustrating fuzziness is also deliberate, and means you're constantly squinting at darkened corners, unsure if there's a monster lurking there, or if it's just a poster from the day's entertainment. Then there's the fact that you can't control the cameras, meaning there'll be points where you're forced to sit tight and wait for the camera to swing back to a particular spot, when all you want to do is flick wildly between feeds and cry for your mother. Throw on top an eerie glitch, which means that when you open up your phone from standby, you'll normally be met with the crackling static of the game's homepage, even if you haven't played it all day. And you'll see why Five Nights at Freddy's comes with a not for the faint hearted warning stamped firmly across the screen. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.